So a person from Slovakia is now managing the channel of Alexander Pramonov and gradually he is uh, posting in video form documents uh, which he issued earlier. And amongst them this one really stands out uh, because now Alexander Pramonov himself signed this uh, with the title King of Kings, Absolute Sovereign of the entire earth. When I first saw that, my first reaction was actually to go to the comments and uh, check how many people understood what he actually means. Because for me, uh, that title was not a surprise. I was told that by, hopefully, and I underline hopefully, my angelic voices inside somewhere in the beginning in the spring or early summer of 2020. Now I underlined hopefully because um, sometimes I don't understand things properly. Maybe I did not hear correctly, maybe it was uh, somehow the devils disguised themselves as angels and with uh, uh. voices of disguise uh, whispered and lied to me everything is possible i'm not saying i guarantee this is true but that has been on my mind almost every day since it happened in the beginning when i made the very first uh, video about paramonov i gave a hint that he could be the king of kings and later on i made uh, the video absolutely private because i thought uh, this is not something that has to be shared at this point of time but now that it appeared on his own channel doesn't seem to be secret anymore and in the description of this video i will uh, leave a link to this uh, very first video about him now I have made it unlisted, so in case somebody wants to get uh, sure, I really did have hints even at that point of time. But ever since, for this reason, and of course uh, primarily because of uh, who he is and what he says and how he speaks, I uh, took upon the task of um, presenting in English at least the main points of uh, his messages which is uh, actually quite difficult almost impossible because uh, the language he uses is such a high level language that It is actually impossible to translate it into English without losing most of the flavor. Well, so much about the interesting title used. The document itself is uh, not less interesting. Written in high-level legal language, it gives an overview of the thousand years uh, long enslavement of Earth project enslaved by the dark forces, seen in legal terms and explaining why now the period of judgment is uh, upon us, has already begun, and why the moment for that is ripe, even in legal terms. And uh, he, as King of Kings, even announces it officially. So in the document he refers to the number of historic uh, religious and secular law reforms to explain how did we reach uh, the current uh, culmination, if culmination is even the right word for this um, pathetic dead end, when the, for example, the passports issued by uh, all Western governments and even the Russian Federation, since it uh, took over Russia, their equivalents of uh, some sort of uh, slave certificates in the Roman Empire what is now called uh, citizens, these uh, entities are not equal to the free citizens, for example, in the Roman Empire. The people who had similar status at that time were, for example, uh, uh, captives, slaves, or people who are so sick that they need a, a patron who will take the decisions for them. Also in the document, the exact legislations in uh, UK, uh, France, uh, Scotland, and US and few other countries have been mentioned. To explain in legal term, how did they manage to turn uh, free souls incarnated uh, for learning into sick and dependent subjects and slaves who are only issued certificates uh, which allow them 
to reach uh, from one transportation point to another, uh, while uh, various legal entities sell them uh, to each other to work for them. I hope they will eventually post the English translation of this uh, document as well and then I will uh, inform you about that because it's an interesting one. And there was also another video, probably a phone conversation recording with Paramono, with an interesting perspective on some details of the life of Christ and, uh, according to him, his wife uh, Mary Magdalene. He usually refers to Christ as uh, Radomir, and with his wife they, they were learning uh, creation and channeling light at very high level and that was taking place in the region of uh, Mateor. He refers to Radomir um, as incarnation of the soul of what some people call Slavic god Dashbok or Perun. And the status uh, of this translated in uh, Christian terms, uh, yes, it is exactly son of God. And Mary Magdalene, uh, he says, is uh, incarnation of uh, Devi or Tara. Uh, Devi or Shakti, that is the Eastern name of uh, this very same goddess. Also there, she is called Tara. In the uh, Slavic regions, uh, she is only known as Tara, but it is the same deity. Everybody agrees about that. Uh, in Christianity, Deva, yes, still same name is used and um, according to him uh, she was his wife and they had a son and a daughter so after radomir reached a very high level of channeling light he simply dissolved in god and mary magdalene remained alone at that time and um, she settled in the valleys of uh, northern europe where she continued to learn and practice uh, creation, magical creation at very high levels. But one day when she was away from home and uh, at that time uh, the warriors who would later on become the Templar Knights, they were actually guarding the family. But one day, uh, murderers hired by the Vatican, they managed to break in while she was away and they murdered their two children. And when the warrior knights came and found out what has happened, they actually painted this uh, cross with their blood on their mantles and that's why uh, that's how this uh, red cross became the symbol of the Templar Knights. They were uh, given the right to be Templar Knights by the order of Saint John, or at least uh, that seems to be the English translation of uh, Orden Svetova Ioana, but I don't know which uh, John is he referring to. Is it John the Baptist? or uh, John as one of the apostles. So according to Paramonov, this uh, order of Saint John or Orden Svetovo Ioana were the absolute sovereigns on earth because uh, at that historic moment Rome took over and uh, Goddess Tara decided in the beginning of uh, Kali Yuga, the thousand years of darkness, to defeat them and restored justice for some time on earth and did that through this uh, Orden Svetova Ioana. So being the highest authority on earth after defeating Rome at that time, this Order of Saint John appointed the Templars to revenge uh, for what has happened. That's how their order was uh, founded. And on the other hand, they founded the Order of Hospitaliers who were the financial helpers at that time because initially banks and banking was created to help and distribute the riches given by the Lord amongst the people. So the story about how the Hospitalier and the Templar orders were founded is quite different from the mainstream story. But um, as a side note, I remember also Fomenko, who was uh, looking at the actual old documents, 
He also s concluded that the Templar Knights were founded to revenge for the crime of murder of Christ, which happened in front of their eyes. I remember that uh, years ago, Mango said so in an interview, and they did not uh, go to Jerusalem to, to revenge for a, a thousand year old story. So the people of God is Tara, uh, whom Paramonov calls uh, both the Order of uh, Saint John, Orden Svetova Ioana, and also Cathars, they had in their custody uh, vast riches, large amounts of gold, and they, when they appointed the Hospitaliers and the Templars, they shared uh, a lot of these riches with them. And that's why the Templar Knights were fabulously rich, and the castles of the Cathars in France, they were definitely not built by poor people. See my video on them. So the point of this uh, official document, this uh, video is uh, just uh, reading the text of the official document, is to present in legal language with proper references, with proper legal references, why he is the king of kings. Also to officially announce that the time of judgment has arrived already while in the previous videos which were made a couple of years ago he would always say it is very very near and people should prepare and now they are making their choice on which side they are now it is uh, different he has officially announced uh, the beginning of the end times the end of the parasitic system and he has repeatedly assured in this document that people who follow the real law of god the original one the primeval one they have nothing to fear of and their emancipation to higher realms of learning pleasant realms to reside is sure and he also specifies some of the most common ways to break this law nowadays some of the items he lists are forcing medical choice on people confiscation of property in uh, previous uh, appearances he has uh, explained in length a couple of hours long explanations of why it is absolutely illegal for these uh, so-called uh, government modern entities to take away people's possessions. Also, he lists as uh, breaking the law of God, uh, uh, cruel and overrated uh, punishments. Now, amongst uh, the ways to break the primeval uh, law of God, he also lists depriving people uh, the possibility to live normal, prosperous lives or creating a corrupted environment which makes uh, the existence of happy families impossible, happy normal families of normal people, conducting uh, scientific experiments on people without their consent and uh, properly informing them. So, in other words, watch out, for example, professionally, how much are you taking part in this type of initiatives? Because uh, you may feel that, uh, okay, I'm forced to participate to some degree or another in these uh, parasitic initiatives but when the time of reckoning comes you yourself may regret that uh, you have sacrificed your honor just to get uh, let's say better food and better living conditions for a very very short time and uh, then you will understand that this is a very bad deal no wonder that the policeman resignation rate, for example, has drastically increased since the pandemic started. There was a viewer question, is uh, Alexander Paramanov actually on the dark side because he's a UN advisor 
and his uh, treasury M1 is registered with UN. I think his association with UN is uh, no ground at all to doubt his sincerity, which of course uh, doesn't mean there are no other reasons. There aren't, to my knowledge, so far, but this uh, doesn't mean that uh, you should blindly believe in anything which uh, any video says about him. Uh, moreover, the language barrier in this uh, case is significant because his uh, very peculiar way of speaking is extremely difficult to translate and even if somebody does this uh, very good job, still a lot will be lost. There is no other way. But back to UN, uh, he has explained in detail what are the good and bad sides of uh, UN. As most other organizations, it is uh, mostly satanic, mostly taken over. But exactly as in politics, this doesn't mean that there aren't people of the light employed there, no matter that they are very, very small percentage. And in one older video, he explained his uh, connection and relation with UN. When he approached them to uh, register his uh, treasury, he wasn't expecting such a fast and correct uh, cooperation, but they did cooperate, they honored the old laws. And basically he has published a lot of material, it is uh, mostly legal stuff. He explains which of the laws which are currently still in place comply to the primeval uh, law of God and which do not. And since he has said from the very beginning that uh, he has taken upon himself this responsibility to put an end to this parasitic takeover of the earth and he has promised that he will do it and it will be successful, that he has uh, said for sure already. He said in the beginning I wanted to transform the current system. There was still some hope for painless and peaceful transition. But then... Uh, the parasites simply refused to cooperate and the very system, especially the financial system, which is uh, the main backbone of their fishing net, harvesting the souls of the people, they have made it uh, so unnecessarily complicated so that uh, even if somebody wants to put an order in it, it will just take forever. And also people will not understand, they will get lost in the complexities uh, for example, how exactly is tr uh, taxation done, why I need to report all these things, why do I need to make all these papers. The people have no time to lift their heads from obligations to submit these and those reports, especially business owners. I know many people who have closed their businesses because um, they cannot comply with the paperwork. The sheer amount of uh, reporting required is so insane that uh, it becomes impossible. So, of course, everything is rotten and uh, bent to serve parasitic purposes. And on the top of that, overcomplicated. So he said that peaceful way it wouldn't work. And then he explained that actually it wasn't him who came up with uh, this idea of um, his new system, about which I'm going to say a few words now. He said that uh, God himself he considers himself just the son of God. He doesn't say I'm God himself. He says I'm just the king of kings and I have inherited the earth to restore it to its original state. He doesn't say he is God, but God inspired him to create this new system which is uh, now having his first small branch opened in Slovakia. So there will be similar branches all over the world and the good people who don't want to function in the parasitic system, they take shelter over there. Such will be the arrangement in this Kali Yuga, according to him. He said that there could be some slight differences from the classical Bibli biblical scenario which repeated itself quite well in the previous Kali Yugas. But now that this is the final Kali Yuga of this cycle, he said, uh, there could be major differences. And also the Bible is quite general 
if we look in the prophecies of the saints as uh, presented in the end time series there were many hints that there will be some special arrangements that uh, the antichrist will not really have this full grip all the time through the tribulation and there will be some places uh, where he won't be allowed ever and it seems even some sort of uh, financial system will make it through the tribulation for the good people only if uh, Alexander Paramonov is for real so this financial system will uh, allow the godly people to trade uh, without excessive taxes and in the beginning actually no taxes and also to find other people who have decided not to take the side of the beast Amongst many other features, which I don't know at which point will he implement, but these two which I mentioned, they will be there from the beginning. And it will allow uh, the godly people to uh, sell things, because currently an honorable person, it's just too difficult to register anything at all, to even start what to speak of the paperwork later on. I will definitely keep you updated about uh, this new financial system. And of course the big question is, is it true that really Alexander Paramonov is the king of kings? Well, if I find out uh, that it is not so, I will immediately let you know. And uh, if it is true, then you got the news of the millennium, probably a decade before the crowds. Thank you.